Look what a jungle I have. <laughs> My son needs to weed eat, but I can't let him weed eat too close or he'll just ruin it. We we got rain yesterday morning. Look at the peppers on there. Oh, wow. I rip, to tell you the truth, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these peppers. Looks like I'm about to get some more cucumbers that I really didn't plan on, I guess. Those would just be for fresh eating. I put up all the pickles I'm going to put up. And I uh, had a weird... Oh, I see those Everglades tomatoes. Some are ripening. I want to taste those, see if they actually taste like a tomato. And I see that I've gotten some blossoms on my okra. I'm getting a pod you know, a couple of pods at the time, which is not enough to cook. But I'm saving it in the refrigerator, so I, when I do get enough. Hey, I'm talking over here. Y'all hear that loud mouth chicken? You know what she's wanting? She's wanting a ripe tomato. A lot of times when I'm out here getting tomatoes, if one has a blemish of some kind, I throw it to them, and that's what she's wanting. I like this one here. Just... I'll shut her up pretty quick. Here you go. She's too fat and slow to run it down. <laughs> The others beat her to it. <laughs> and these pumpkin vines have just gone crazy. I mean crazy. There's only two vines here. Yeah, two vines. One that starts over here and one that starts over here. They have gone absolutely crazy. Of course, if you remember, the chi this used to be part of the chicken run, so... Guess it was pretty fertile, more fertile than I realized. Got a lot of little pumpkins on here, Seminoles or or um, Cherokee tan. I really don't know which, cause I, I'm crossing them. I planted a Cherokee tan over there and a Seminole over here, and they've ran together. And that one right there looks like a Seminole. Even the leaves on the vine looks like Seminoles. I've not grown Cherokee tan before this year, so I really don't know what the leaves on it should look like. I'm assuming that this non-variegated leaf here is the Cherokee tan. I, don't take my word for that. I keep pushing these vines back out of the walk. Oh, I just broke that one. That might be a good thing. It's like a tertiary vine anyway. And there's one in there. Oh, they're all over the place. They're just hidden so well by these leaves. And this one's growing in, my, in between my, my uh, raised beds. That's the okra leaves. I know people pronounce it okra. In the South, we call it okra. It's just always been that way. And I've had some kind of moth laying eggs on these on these soldier beans and it folds back the leaf the little grub does see the little grub right there all right let me hold my fingers and see that little grub i just gonna give it to the chickens and every day i take the grubs or kill the grubs and the next day there's more look over those that perfectly good quilt that I laid up there when I took it off the chickens after cool weather. It got rained on a couple times. Here you go, dear. Here's your grub. There he is. Get him. Get him. He's on the ground right there. Chickens has really good eyes. I don't know how she missed that. Oh, like I was saying, that we got more rain than I thought. Um. It got ruined, so 
I'm just not even bothered to move it. But I should. I've got some little cantaloupes coming on here. That's my son's favorite fruit. Cantaloupe. There's several on here. Just had to look for them. They blend in very well. Oh, I was going to sh show you some more of this. Every leaf that's bent back like this has a little bend in it. As a grub, of course, I killed all these yesterday. Unless they, unless they hatched out overnight, I squished them. You can actually see this, and they fold that leaf over to hide themselves, and they continue to eat your leaf. This is my first time growing soldier beans, and probably my last. Because uh, they attract grubs that I haven't had problems with before. Ooh, look there, I just squished one that was folded over in that leaf. And I'm assuming the moth comes at night and lays the eggs because I never see her out here in the daytime. Oh, there was one in there too. Yuck. Yuck. Look at there, when I pulled that leaf off yesterday, I pulled off a pot of okra. I hope I didn't hurt my, my plant. Look there, I got potatoes growing. Who grows potatoes in the hottest part of the summer? Weren't for those okra shading them out. <laughs> they would have done, already died. I see several pods there that can be harvested. Of course, I got a dental appointment after lunch, so there's no point in me trying to harvest them now. I got sweet corn planted in this. It looks like all I've got coming up so far is coffee beans. But I only planted it a couple of days ago. I didn't expect it to be up. Those Everglades tomatoes are tiny little boogers. Look at that. Right there. I've been picking peas. And it looks like I missed a couple that was ready. And we've been enjoying them. They are so good, fresh and green. And there's there's some more of that pumpkin vine. Uh, I know that one pumpkin vine right there is coming from that raised bed. I remember sticking that in there. And it also has a potato in it that's been there uh, since April. Yeah, since April. And this here... I think it's cantaloupe. It's not a pumpkin. It's got to be a cantaloupe. I've stomped on it so much it probably won't want to do anything. And of course, this is a pumpkin. And that's a female. So if that blossom gets pollinated, which I'm assuming that bees are already visited it this morning, but I wouldn't swear it. I don't swear to anything. And there's another one right there. Hopefully we'll have a good crop of pumpkins. Pumpkin soup, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie. I will never plant these tomatoes here again. I don't remember what the name of them was. But they're just chicken food. I don't even bother trying to process them. There's nothing to them to process. I have, this is my first time growing acorn squash, and you don't really have to do anything to them. They take care of themselves. And if y'all remember, any of y'all that's watched my channel for any time, uh, there's pumpkins that come up in this every year because I grew a whole bunch of old compost in here that had pumpkin seeds in it. And the pumpkin seeds themselves are years old. That calendula looks like it's dying. Is that calendula? I think so. I get all these things so mixed up in my head. I'm old. Anyway, um, so I don't know what that pumpkin is. Whatever it makes, we'll eat if it makes anything. And like I was saying about this acorn squash, just to set it and forget it thing as long as you keep it 
watered and there's a pepper I didn't move and it's actually putting on peppers and it's a hot pepper I, I could pull that tomato out there's nothing left on it oh well no that's on the other bush yeah I can pull that one out get it out of the way get some airflow to these here when it's it's above 90 degrees every day now. Your tomatoes are not going to flower. So if you've got anything off from them, you might as well just go ahead and do away with them. Give that pepper there some room to itself. Yeah, I know. Y'all want some more. If I see any more that I don't want, I'll give them to you. <laughs> 